वेलकम व्यूअर्स आवर टॉपिक टुडे इज मेंटल इमोशनल वेलबींग एंड रिक्रिएशनल एक्टिविटीज प्लीज नोट दिस इज मॉड्यूल थ्री यूनिट टू आई एम प्रोफेसर करुणेश सक्सेना वाइस चांसलर संगम यूनिवर्सिटी भीलवाड़ा राजस्थान फ्रेंड्स वॉट आर अवर लर्निंग पॉइंट फॉर टूडे इन दिस मॉड्यूल थ्री यूनिट टू फर्स्ट थेरी लर्निंग आउटकम्स theory learning outcomes include explaining the importance of mental and emotional well being discussing the methods of developing a positive relationship with the elder and their family understanding the recreational activities that can promote mental and emotional well being and maintaining a positive outlook by elderly caregivers here certain practical learning outcomes are also which are as follows demonstrating ways for overcoming resistance and managing conflicts with the elderly and his or her family demonstrate the ways of developing a positive relationship with the elders their social network and healthcare personnel as well friends now let us start with our first segment first segment is focused on importance of mental and emotional well being as well as rec recreational activities so friends let us start first benefit we can derive of these mental emotional well being in the elders is that they will experience reduced stress and anxiety and you will agree with me that as an elderly caregiver if the person you are taking care of is not under stress and is not experiencing anxiety then your task becomes much more easier so engaging in enjoyable activities has a calming effect on the mind of the elderly people improved mood recreation and leisure activities provide lot of sense of pleasure and accomplishment so that their mood gets enhanced next is enhanced cognitive function it promote cognitive function memory retention and problem solving abilities reducing the risk of cognitive decline social connection maintaining social connections through group activities or clubs fosters a sense of belonging and also reduces the feeling of loneliness or isolation friends there are more points of importance another is sense of purpose and fulfillment these recreational activities these mental activities give individuals something to look forward to and a reason to stay motivated as well as engaged stress relief these activities offer a way to unwind and relax reducing the impact of stress it has been observed that if the elderly people are kept physically and mentally engaged then they will not have time and inclination to experience stress improved self esteem accomplishing goals or mastering new skills boost their self confidence as well as self esteem so we know that if we have to make them more and more confident then we have to engage them in physical and mental activities so that they feel independent mindfulness and relaxation activities like meditation yoga or simply spending time in nature promote relaxation and mindfulness now we come to the next segment that is methods of developing a positive relationship with the elders and their family so friends here let us talk about various aspects first is open communication listen actively to the elders needs this is one of the most important quality that an elderly caregiver should have that is active listening if necessary you should develop this skill of active listening so so that you are listening carefully to their needs concerns preferences and also you can have open communication channels 
and transparency uh, transparency with family members and healthcare personnel as well respecting and empathy now this is one another very important quality that an elderly caregiver should have that they should put themselves in the shoes of the elderly people whom they are taking care of then only they will be able to understand their perspective and also validate their feelings fostering trust and a positive connection that is very very important for elderly caregiver to be empathetic then only you will be successful and effective as a elderly care giver collaborative care involving the elders their family members health care persons in decision making process regarding care plans that is a very good exercise because then you are collaborating with other interested parties regular updates keeping everyone informed helps maintaining trust as well as reducing anxiety so regularly updating them is very important cultural sensitivity respecting cultural differences as well as preferences so as an elderly caregiver you should try to understand what kind of elderly care people are having and how they can align them with the elders whom they are taking care of so this kind of cultural sensitivity on the part of the elderly caregiver is very very important developing positive relationship with the elders and their family under this support and education providing educational materials or organizing sessions can empower families to be more involved and supportive sometimes if necessary then you can give an amount of micro training modules to the family members also empowerment and dignity encouraging independence while providing necessary support so you are not trying to make them dependent on you unnecessarily and you should be always there in the background so that whenever needed you can lend a helping hand there appreciation and recognition recognizing and acknowledging their contributions fosters a positive atmosphere and reinforces a sense of value so you should not show pity on the elderly people but you should make them your partners you should involve them you should be having the real genuine feeling of affection and respect towards them resolving conflicts proactively encourage open discussions and work towards finding mutually beneficial solutions now we come to the third segment that is regarding recreational activities to promote mental and emotional well being so friends let us understand that there are certain recreational activities such as mindfulness and meditation i have already said that the one once the elderly are regularly practicing mindfulness exercises of guided meditation their re stress can be greatly reduced they can lead a very healthy relaxed and very good mental and physical health breathing exercises engaging in deep breathing techniques or pranayam to calm the mind and reduce anxiety yoga and tai chi participate in gentle yoga or tai chi sessions these activities promote relaxation balance and flexibility in fact the importance of yoga and meditation and breathing exercise can never be undermined particularly in case of elderly people listening to music some of the elderly people are fond of music so they enjoy listening to soothing music or create you can create personalized playlist for them with their favorite tunes and artists to uplift their mood and reduce stress in this case there is a device which is called karma device that can be useful for personalizing the playlist nature immersion spend time in nature whether it's gardening taking nature walks or sitting in a park so bringing them closer to the nature always has a calming effect on them and reduces stress in a big way art therapy 
that also engaging them in various art activities, coloring, painting, drawing, etc. can be very good. Journaling, encouraging them to write in a journal regularly to express their thoughts, feelings, experiences. This practice helps them in processing their emotions and reducing stresses. So, this will make them both mentally very active at the same time they will be able to recall in the past what good memories they had. Laughter therapy, watch comedy shows, engaging them in humorous activities or socialize with friends to experience the stress relieving benefits of laughter. During the morning walk, some laughter clubs are there. So, encouraging elderly people to become members of those laughter club and sharing good quality time with the persons of their age can also be a good strategy here. Pet therapy. It is a considered, it is a well known fact that if the pet is around, then the whole atmosphere of the household becomes very good. So, spending quality time with pets or consider petting animals of a lo uh, local shelter, interacting with animals can reduce stress and improve mood. Particularly if there is a pet dog, then that can be a very good companion to the elderly people. Reading for pleasure, reading books, magazines, poems that bring joy and relaxation. Escaping into a good story can be a great stress reliever. Sometimes they can be taken to park and there they can be encouraged to read books etc. So, there are, you are achieving two things, bringing them close to the nature and also relaxing them. Aromatherapy, use essential oils or scented candles known for their calming properties like lavender etc. to create a soothing atmosphere. Guided imagery, this also is having a calming mental image and reduce stress levels. Finally, social connection. Maintaining social connections through regular interactions with friends, families or peers. Engaging in conversations and activities with others can alleviate feelings of loneliness as well as stress. So friends, now we come to the fourth segment that is maintaining a positive outlook by caregiver. A word about your own physical and mental health. Because you have to maintain a positive outlook always as a caregiver. First and foremost is self-care. If you are not able to take good care of yourself, how you are expected to take care of the elderly people? Seek support. Don't hesitate to ask for any help or seeking support. Because sometimes you may also need certain amount of support. Set realistic expectations. Don't put impossible goals for you. Understand and accept your own limitations. Time management. That is very, very important for elderly caregiver people. That you should be a good manager of time. Then also you will be able to take good care of uh, elderly people in terms of giving them medicines in a timely manner and so on. Learn stress management techniques. You should also practice becoming emotionally intelligent. Stay informed. Understanding the situation can help. Practice gratitude. Focus always on the positive aspects. Set boundaries. Establish boundaries to prevent burnout. More importantly, always don't forget to take help from the persons whom you consider as capable of helping you out. Friends, in this program, which is titled as Mental and Emotional Well-Being and Recreational Activities, we talked about first the importance of these activities and secondly we discussed that what are the methods of developing a positive relationship with the elders as well as their family members also. In the third segment we talked about various recreational activities to promote mental and emotional well-being in the elderly people whom you are taking care of and finally the last segment was focused on improving the physical and mental health of the elderly caregiver themselves. So, maintaining a positive outlook by caregiver. We have given certain uh, strategies and certain uh, exercises and certain tips 
for remaining healthy so friends then only you will be able to do justice to the task that you have undertaken thank you